Hi guys, welcome to Little Beauty 11. I'm Christelle and this is day 3 of Review Week. Today I'm going to review primers and the ones I'm going to review are the MAC Prep and Prime Transparent Finishing Powder, the L'Oreal Studio Secret Anti Shine Mattifying Primer, and the Prep and Prime Skin Base Visage from MAC as well. Before I begin, let me just um, have a quick word about um, primers. Primers are supposed to act as a barrier between your face and your makeup. However, it also acts as a filler. It fills out um, the pores. Um, if you have big pores like me, it does fill them up. It also fills up any lines that you might have, not wrinkles, but like very, very thin lines, like when you smile and you have this tiny lines and stuff yeah it does fill those and it also um, prepares your skin to receive all the makeup that you will have on your face there are various type of primers out there you have primers for your face primers for your lips primers for your eyes I think um, you also have primers for your um, eyebrows and you also have primers for your lashes so every aspect of your face will have a primer if you're into these then you can research on the internet um, I know that MAC sells all of the above so if you're a MAC fan check these out primers can contain different um, types of uh, properties you have some primers that have some anti-aging uh, agents inside some primers that have something to protect you from the sun which are SPF or you can also have some primers that have moisturizing properties the first primer I'm going to talk about is the Studio Secret anti shine mattifying primer from L'Oreal Paris um, you can find this primer in any drugstores that store L'Oreal professional products. Be aware that L'Oreal Paris store different types of products than L'Oreal professional. It comes in this um, quite tall bottle and it is transparent so you can see the actual amount of product that you've used. I bought this a very long time ago. I think it probably was in in summer last year I think that I bought this one and I haven't been using it um, a lot until I bought the Fashion Fair Foundation which is this one and I've already done a review about this so check that out and this one is very very good with that type of foundation that dries really really fast what I like about this is the packaging I like the fact that you can see how much product you've actually used I like the fact that it has a pump I like the fact that it's mattifying and I like the price as well just to show you the consistency I just applied a tiny bit and as you can see it's transparent and it let me do that I don't know if you can see I don't think, oh yeah, you can see just a tiny bit how it dries transparent. It is very, very easy to apply. It is very soft. And once you've applied it, your skin is amazingly soft. I mean, seriously, seriously soft to the point where you kind of think, maybe I still have any product on or maybe my skin is still wet from the product or anything. It is very, very, very soft. It is not too wet, it's not too creamy, it has a gel-like um, consistency which is great because it won't start dripping or um, doing weird things and stuff so you kind of have a good control of the amount of product you use with this one. Does it actually work and mattify your skin? I'm not really sure to be honest. Um, I've already tried um, comparing makeup using this and using just plain foundation and to be honest I just couldn't tell the difference maybe it's me maybe it's the way I, I apply it but yeah for me it didn't make that much of a difference whether I used it or not in the mattifying section 
However, what I found this product very, very good for is filling out the pores as well as filling in the um, alien lines that you might have on your face. It also helps to blend your makeup beautifully. I have no problem applying any sort of foundation with this. The product glides on my face really, really well and I do feel like it kind of protects my skin from the effect of um, the foundations that I use daily on my face. I don't think there's anything I dislike about this product. Maybe perhaps the fact that it doesn't mat really mattify my skin. But um, besides that, there's nothing else I see negative about this product. Out of 20, I'm going to give this one 15. Um, just because it does not really does what it says on the box. It does not mattify, at least for me, it does not mattify my foundation. And um, that is it really. That's the only negative for me because this product is very, very useful, especially with the type of foundation that I use. If you're using any other type of foundation like cream or powder foundation, I'm not sure or I, I don't even know how it will work. But um, yeah, it doesn't hurt to just try it. So. If you can, buy this one, try it out. Um, if you like your foundation to be matte or not too shiny, then just give it a try, really. The next foundation I'm going to review is the Prep and Prime Skin Base Visage from um, MAC. I don't know what I, why I say Base Visage, because Base Visage is actually in French. It's like the translation of the word. I have to stop saying base visage. Okay, it's just prep and prime for MAC. Um, this is for the face. And what it does, as I said before, it fills out the pores, fills in the lines, and um, help protect your face from, um, your, yeah, your face from the makeup. Just want to show you what it looks like. It has a lotion-like consistency. It's very white. And... If you have, if you look closer, you can kind of see tiny bits of particles. I don't know, maybe it's because of my product or if it's in general, but yeah, for me, I see tiny bits of um, particles. If you go on my blog, lubeauty.blogspot.com, I'll put the link on the side anyways. You will see the um, pictures of the of these two, and you will have a close-up look at how they look in comparison so I've tried it and I don't know if you can see but it does give a tiny bit of sheen to the um, to my hand and what I kind of like just a tiny bit is that that sheen will help reflect when you take pictures I noticed that when I take pictures and I have this product on you kind of i don't know why but my skin just feels like live and it pops up a bit more i think it's because of the, of the tiny particles that are inside so i like that about this product i don't know what else to say about this product it it works it does prime my face and um even if you don't feel the effects of it i'm sure your skin thanks you to have something to protect to protect it from um everything else from the outside world so yeah, Prep and Prime, I like it. I like to use it with the Fashion Fair as well because I think that if I use it with the MAC foundations, it does tend to make my um, the oils of my skin come out a lot faster um, when I have this on. Out of 20, I'm, going to, I'm just going to give it a 20. Yeah, because I like this. Um, it's I've had this bottle for a really, really long time. I think an, a year and a half or something like that. And um, I'm a long, long way from finishing it. So, very useful, very affordable. And it does stay on. It helps the makeup stay on as well. And, um, yeah, it works. So, I like it. 20.